Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you are a new subscriber and please smash the like button for this video, which is my early 2021 NHL award prediction. So I'm just going to go over the main ones. I'll mention a couple of the other ones that I think could go in a certain direction, but of course, welcome, leave your thoughts, leave your early award predictions. Obviously it's tough to predict before the season. We don't know which players are going to step up, but based on what I saw last season and kind of just how I'm feeling going into this season and what players I think could step up, these are my award predictions. So let's get right into it. Let's not waste any time. My Calder Memorial Award, best rookie of the year, is going to go to Kirill Kaprizov. So Kaprizov is a guy that I think is going to step onto the scene for the Wild, have a similar impact to what we saw with Panarin. I don't know if he's going to be to that level yet, but I do think on a team that has uh, good defense and not enough scoring, Kaprizov needs to be that presence for the Wild, and if he is that presence, he will be in the running for Rookie of the Year. Lafreniere, I think, will be in that conversation if he does get a lot of playing time. He's. It seems like he's in around that third line right now, second line. And Sorokin. I think if Sorokin gets more games, potentially, than Varlamov, if he steps up and shows his potential, I think he could get nominated as well. Another two... Honorable mentions I'll throw in. I'll throw in Stutzel, and I'll throw in Shesterkin. I know there's a bunch of other names I could throw out. I could throw out a guy like Nick Robertson for the Leaf fans watching. Uh, I could throw out Alexander Romanov. Like, I could throw out a bunch of guys uh, that people want to hear. But these are my three picks, at least for the Calder. Norris. I, it's easy to say Victor Hedman. So I'll say other names. But I do think Hedman coming to this season, especially with Kucherov down, the star power needs to step up. That's there for Tampa, and Hedman is that on the back end. He is the best defenseman in the league. So guys I'll mention, obviously the two other guys I have nominated right now is Seth Jones and Eric Carlson. So people are probably already freaking out in the comment section. I just think Carlson's going to have a huge bounce back year. So you know what, maybe this is like reaching, it's a hot take, so I'll mention other names. I think Roman Yost is going to have a big year. I think obviously John Carlson, the points he puts up, he's always in that kind of conversation. I think Morgan Raleigh, as much as that might seem biased, I think... People are going to realize or get at least reminded by how dominant Morgan Rowley is when he starts getting minutes with a better defenseman. Uh, look at the defenseman he's played with. And I'll also say Petrangelo. Petrangelo playing with Shea Theodore, I think that might be the best uh, pairing, at least in that division maybe, but in, in general. So uh, that pairing of Theodore Petrangelo, if they're together, is going to be so dominant. But I have Hedman, maybe an easy answer uh, for the Norris. The Selkie. So this one's interesting because, again, it's tough to predict going into the season, but I have Barkov because I think Florida has less of what we've seen in the past. I think Barkov really needs to step up offensively and defensively. He was very solid defensively last year. Didn't put the points we expected from him, but I think this year he's going to improve that. So I'm going Barkov and then Bergeron. He's going to have to step up with the injuries for Boston, and I do think Kobitar will have a good year as well. There's a lot of candidates as well. I think Sorelli was in there last year. I think Couturier could definitely be in the conversation. O'Reilly... Uh, but these are the three guys I have for this year. Rocket Richard, top goal scorer, most goals for the season. I have Austin Matthews. You know what? This guy was going off, and I think if it was a full season, he would have won the Rocket last year. I do have my hot take, though. If Patrick Laine gets traded, yes, this is my hot take. If Laine gets traded or at least gets a bigger role with the Jets, one or the other, I think he's going to go off for goals. So when I talk about 56 games I think line is going to go off for 40 plus goals so I don't know what kind of goal scoring season it's going to be for players but if I could throw out a prediction I think Matthews is going to be in around the 40 to 50 goal mark I mean 50 is like uh, crazy for 56 games that's why I'm saying probably 40 plus goals which is already insane to begin with and I'll go the same I think line a could get 40 uh, if he plays in the right situation. Maybe that's a huge hot take, but I'm going to go with that hot take. And I think McKinnon could definitely get close to 40 goals. So I'm going to go Matthews, Line, and McKinnon. Vesna. I'm going with a hot take. I'm going with my guy. Where's the jersey? Where's the jersey? I'm going with my guy, Carter Hart. I think Carter Hart is going to have a good year. I don't know if it's going to be completely the Vesna winner. I don't think it... I don't think... Anyone can say that for sure going into this season, but I'm going with a hot take. I think Carey Price could be there as well, so maybe switch that. I think Price could definitely win. And Freddie Anderson, I think if anyone's due for a bounce back, it is Freddie Anderson. So big shout out to my guy, Freddie, but Price and Hart, look out for those two this year uh, for sure. And the Hart. I actually think Carey Price is a real shot at the Hart. If Carey Price plays to the level the way he was playing against the Penguins and then against the Flyers, I think Price is a real shot to lead the Montreal Canadiens into the playoffs 
and be the heart candidate there. So I'm going Carey Price. I'm going Crosby as well because I think the Penguins have other weapons, other options. But I think if the Penguins make the playoffs, it's because of either Crosby or Malkin just going off. And I'm putting my bets down on Crosby and Jack Eichel. If the Sabres have any chance at a playoff spot, we know it. It's no secret. Jack Eichel. Yes, Taylor Hall's coming to the fold. You have that defense. You have Rasmus Dallin developing. Hopefully Allmark has a big year. But Jack Eichel's the guy. So if the Sabres are even close or do somehow squeak in, it's going to be a lot to Jack Eichel. So uh, let me know what you guys think. Just quickly, we'll go through it one more time. Calder, Kaprizov, Lafreniere, Sorokin. I think there's many options there. Norris, Hedman, Jones, Carlson. Those are my picks. There's a lot of other options as well. Again, it's early picks, so a lot can happen. Selkie, Barkov, Bergeron, Kopitar. Another thing, there's like three or four other options that coming out of last year, I could have said. Uh, the Rocket, Matthews, Liney, McKinnon, maybe a little bit of a hot take, including Liney in there, but I do think Liney is going to show what kind of goal scorer he is this season, regardless if he gets traded. But I think if he gets traded, he has a real shot to put up crazy numbers. Vesna, Hart, Price, Anderson, maybe a hot take with Hart. I think Price is going to have a good season. And for the Hart, Price, Crosby, Eichel. So, hey, Hart, Hart for Vesna, maybe Hart for Hart? No, I mean, Price for Hart. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, smash that like button, do all that good stuff. I make a lot of content on this channel. I do a lot of live streams. We're on the way to 25K on this channel, 25,000 subscribers. That's going to be insane. So give this channel a chance and definitely leave your early award predictions. Have a good one. Thank you so much for the support. Peace out.